stuck. Thirty-five, be toward Manor Road. Good morning guys, so today is Resurrection Sunday, or as much of America calls Easter Sunday. Uh, so Blanca and I did something a little different. We went ahead and made a road trip or a day trip to Austin, Texas. Uh, the plan is to take Mateo to a park or a splash pad, but uh, breakfast is important and, and yeah. So that is the first thing we gotta do. And today we are trying Bird Bird Biscuit. Uh, very highly rated, very um, popular. So we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. Meanwhile. Go, blue, go. go. <laughs> Mateo! Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so we just got the text and looks like our order is ready. So let's go pick it up. All right, so we got our breakfast. There's Mateo in the back. He's already eating. Uh, and we're on our way to the park, uh, to the splash pad. Now, we tried this splash pad last time. Mateo was not a big fan of it. He was a little younger. Hopefully, he likes it this time around. We'll see. So Blanco uh, went to the park. And Mateo, I know he was eager to get out, so I'm gonna munch and see what we have. I don't know if anyone actually expects you to be able to take a full-on bite of this. It's so big. Mm. <laughs> Chicky, chicky daddy. Go around. One, two, three, go. Come back, come back. Again, one, two, skip a few, <laughs> three, four, keep going, keep going, go, 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 daddy, move him forward, three, let go. oh, he doesn't let go, <laughs> let go, four, hey, oh. what do you think about it? So Blanca couldn't go with just one order, she had to get a second order. They tempted me with their blueberry house meat jam. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, <good. laughs> mm, mm. You haven't even tasted it, but it's mmm. So this is where we planned on bringing Mateo the splash pad, but unfortunately it's closed today. So I don't know if Austin just has not reopened splash pads or splash areas, or if it's just closed because of today. So last time we were here, this place was as Blanca, or I like to say bumpin'. This place was bumpin'. There was kids playing the in the place cave. There was so many kids in the splash pad. It was a lot of fun. And Mateo unfortunately didn't wasn't too fond of the splash pad. So we we're hoping this time around that he would uh, enjoy it. Unfortunately, it's not on. Uh, but we do have the whole park to ourselves. Oh, there they are. All right, that was fun, relaxing. We had the park to ourselves for a good minute. Um, unfortunately, Splash Pad wasn't working, so we're gonna go ahead and try another park we haven't visited. Uh, it's pretty new as far as I know and has a Splash Pad, has a pretty cool treehouse thing. We're gonna see if it's open, if we can get good parking and hopefully the water's on. All right, so now we're at Peace Park. P-E-A-S-E, -E, not Peace, P-E-A-C-E. <laughs> Like peas, peas, like peas. Okay, I guess there are. So we've never been here before. It's a nice little trail. It's about a 13 minute drive from where we previously previously were. Um, so we're we'll just check it out and see uh, what there is to do here. It's really cool though. Yeah, I like the beauty. Mm -hmm. I guess you're meant to. All right, so we made it to Peace Park, but we found out that the splash pads in Austin are actually not quite open yet. They open after Memorial, and I think the ones in San Antonio started open open spring break. Was it? Yeah, spring break. So looks like San Antonio got a head start on, on the splash pads. But check this out. We're gonna go climb it and see what it's all about. Look at that, she's so brave. No hesitation. Come on. Come on. Looks like my Mateo's. This is not for you. He says, I may not have liked it at the top, but I'm totally going to go in the bottom. So it looks like there's a playground, basketball courts, and a little coffee shop. What is it, brother friend? And here's what would be the splash pad. Um, but just seeing how it is already, we definitely have to get check this out next time we're in Austin. As you can see, there's basketball courts and then the children's playground, which is really cool. Good job, Mateo. Mateo, come here. No, no.
Oh, they have, you see all the tables over there? Yeah. Yeah, this is another nice little park. I mean, we always go to Zilker. I mean, well. You want to go look? That'd be cool. So what are your thoughts about Peace with an S Park? It's beautiful. I mean, I thought like Zilker Park and the Lady Bird Johnson like, River, like that reach area that we always go to, um, were like the main ones. But this is, there's a lot to do here. I wish the splash pad was on, but it was nice. So these machines actually can read the face and draw you on their own. We'll go look at some uh, previous examples. Mateo and Blanca just went in. <laughs> oh, it feels nice <laughs> to take off the shoes. He's like, I'm going home. Is it like at home, your tent? Bye. Mateo, oh. I need the bright ones to come out. Yeah, it's gonna turn on right now. Oh, there we go. What are we getting? Ice cream. Woohoo! So we made it out to Zed's. Got here a little early the first time they weren't open. Um, so as their website says, it's their own spin on New a New Zealand classic. It's real fruit ice cream. Um, 
Originally opened in Portland and then eventually made its way down to Austin. Blanca, what flavors do you have? Or what would you get? A, a special blackberry crumble. So it's blackberry ice cream with caramel and um, uh, graham cracker crumble. Yeah. Mateo, what'd you get, baby? Plain old strawberry. Mmm. Mateo, woohoo! Yeah. You like it, baby? That's a happy dance. All right, so we're here at a local food uh, truck park, which we always come actually. It's not the first time we were here, but we only come here for dessert. And we've always talked about how we want to come and actually have dinner or lunch here, so we're finally here for that. So this is definitely a really cool park to be at. If you notice, there's different uh, things. So you got uh, beef chicken, gyro falafel. I think you got a vegan place over there. You have a burger place. Fickle and Pickle's not open today. Uh, and then you got Manoli's, which is actually our favorite, go our go-to for ice cream every time we're in Austin. And then you have the choice of today, which is Italian. So we're gonna check it out. Staring out from otherworldly windows painted red to listen to the voices in your head That's a different line you remember Okay, so the, that looks really good. Yeah. Well, I got the meatballs. What is the spaghetti meatball, right? Spaghetti yeah. Mm -hmm. Loving you This was definitely a great place to finish off the night. We're all sweaty, tired, and sticky. Uh, so I think we're gonna get ready to go home. We have a do have about an hour uh, 20 drive back home. But that was a great today was a great day in Austin where we got to do a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll definitely be back for sure.